Hey guys, it's the Xbox now again, and I have finished my counter adder thing. I don't know what to call it. It's completely finished. <coughs> uh, adder and counter. Adder on my right, counter on my left. This is to initiate the the zero. It doesn't really turn off the screen, but when you want to use the counter, you turn that off so that the things don't get in the way. Uh, button counts. I'm going to eventually put a clock in there so that I can just watch it count automatically. Uh, adder adds, as you can probably guess. I've, see, I've shown this in another video, so 1 plus 2 is 3. Just for an example, minus 1, I'll be a 2. Just like a binary uh, number, sh number shower, really. This light will turn on when the counter is ready, when the boat's been restocked. Uh, I'll show you the mechanism, the mechanics in the daytime a bit later on. There we are. I swear to God, if any of you interrupt this, I will kill you. Alright. One. Uh, I'll talk through how I did this in a moment uh, while I'm doing this, actually. I actually created a second decoder for the counter connected to all of the pressure plates in the water in my water counter uh, boat mechanism thing thanks to Etho uh, Etho's lab and <clears throat> they're connected to a decoder which is in line but underneath my previous one so that they both can connect to the display and I can use them both at uh, different times so because I didn't really want to get rid of the adder I, w I like the idea surrounded by lots of different buttons and switches to press it does count to 9, even though it's only a 3-bit adder, so that only adds up to 7. And goes to nothing. This is where you'd flip the switch, and it'd be a 0. And then you press it again to re like resupply the counter with the boat, which hopefully none of the animals... I've covered most of it in glass. I'll give you a quick brief... <laughs> quick brief. A quick look at the second decoder under the glass. It's all underground, it looks quite... well, it's complete mayhem down there. It took me ages, because the fact that all of these pressure plates... I did number... Uh, I'll come back to that in a second, but because it's only 3-bit, I only need 7. And so, the 8 and the 9 that I previously had for the first decoder we used for the pressure plate activations. But for all the others, because they're spaced out by about 4 blocks, I think, so this is where the pressure plate goes, so 1, one, two, three, four, and yet I had to squeeze them into a 14 square. So, nine of them times four is 36. 36 had to be squeezed into 14 in this little space, which was very nice. I, I put that one underground again. It goes there and it goes down, up, into the decoder, which is insane. So, <clears throat> I'll show you how it all works in the daytime. Hey guys, it's the Xbox Not Again. Uh, just, I've finished everything. Hey guys, it, hey guys, it's the Xbox Not Again. Hey guys, uh, we're back. Uh, I'm on the tower. This is just what everything looks like. There's my house, the screen, the adding gates, one of the decoders, the other ones underneath it, as you can see there and the counter. It's just getting a bit laggy, so I'll put the fog on while I'm showing you around. Oh no. Oh, that's so tight. Oh my days. Well, basically, uh, this line of glass here is the counter returner, if that makes any sense. So when the button, the last button is pressed, it opens that and the boat goes all the way round. So you can reuse it again, rather than having to refit, uh, continuously put a boat in the mechanism, which can get quite annoying, believe me. So, with the first decoder here, the other one's directly underneath it, however, it's obvious, well yeah, it's directly underneath it and it's in line, as you can see, the first, it's uh, the opposite, the inputs are on the opposite sides. 
That's because the add is on the left, but this is on the right. So ignoring this one, it's right there. And each of the torches are lit up. This means it's all off, but if, uh, if for example, this is why it's redstone. This is the red. It's redstone hell because it's completely just kind of so messy. So if the boat were to go on this pressure plate, it would activate this, which would activate this, which would activate this, which would turn on the torches, which would turn on the lights underneath it, which would turn on these, which would go through the ground and turn on on the display. So it's exactly. It, I think oh, I think it's worked really well, seeing as I've uh, fit another whole decoder underground. I had to extend it on for the seventh because it just wouldn't reach the inverters. So that was quite annoying. So I'm really happy with how everything's turned out. Uh, I'll just replace this glass. I did invert it a lot of this. Most of the redstone and uh, all of the glass I've, I'm holding. It's like one of those infinite blocks. It's not infinite, though. It's got about 200 uses. Uh, I'm probably going to get started on a clock. Sh uh, not right away because I've got school in, uh, tomorrow or the next day of when you're watching this video, which is really, really annoying. So from here, this is where you. Where, this is where the output of the doors is activated, is flipped by the button through here that is the light indicator that the clock is ready not the clock the counter because the boat waits on this for the first door to open which doesn't activate anything on the screen and so it indicates the light and when the lights on the talk, uh, the counter is ready uh, probably have a clock on or off switch right here and then this will activate the clock if it's on if it's not it won't and it will just do it manually uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing my my redstone project, and I hope you stick stuck with me the whole way. Hopefully, you'll stick with me with more to come. Thanks for watching.